Hey folks, Moose here. So I've been getting you know, a lot of comments, um, concerns from you folks wondering, you know, what's happening. My, my videos seem to be kind of erratic, especially this summer. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys an update on, you know, some stuff that's going on. Um, it's been <laughs> hectic to say the least. Um, so I've got uh, my sister and her kid who are getting ready to move out of my house. Um, they've been here for a couple of years. Um, so we've got all that stuff going on. Um, recently had a little bit of a um, health issue. I was recently diagnosed with AFib, uh, so working with that. Um, and it's summer, so I mean, I've been trying to, you know, enjoy the weather. I mean, it's been crazy hot uh, the last, like, three weeks and really humid here. Um, so, you know, when you're a guy my size, heat tends to uh, make you start sweating pretty fast and get all uncomfortable but you know thankfully I've got a pool so I've been trying to you know, spend as much time in there as I can um, but yeah so there's there's been a ton of stuff going on I've been um, trying to reorganize you know especially um, some parts of my life here um, like my garage for example um, this is like the back wall here that used to be all old cabinets um, that really took up a lot of space they weren't really that useful so I took them all down, brought them to the dump, started drywalling. Um, so at least I have you know, like a better backdrop for, for videos. Um, and my friggin' awesome neighbor, Ben, I, I cannot thank this guy enough. He gave me basically a weekend. Um, and we started putting together uh, benches. So I've got that workbench there, that workbench over there now. Uh, the one that was over there is right here um, I'm gonna be putting wheels on this so I can move it around uh, and he also helped me build he did actually most of the work um, he, he really likes construction projects like that uh, I don't know if we can see it with the lighting but so from floor to ceiling a 10-foot shelving rack so why why do I need that much shelving and workspace well uh, so I've got, um, well, part of what I do to make money besides scrapping is, you know, selling stuff on eBay. And I've got, you know, a friend of mine at work who constantly has tuners um, and, you know, vintage stereo equipment. So I've got that whole rack over there filled with tuners, you know, floor to ceiling, and a few other boxes scattered here and there. And he's got tons more. I've got... Uh, Another buddy in Boston, Joe, who <laughs> uh, I've got to get back to it as soon as I can. Um, he's apparently got a bunch of stuff that he wants sold on eBay as well. And I just got a fairly large contract that I am trying to figure the logistics out as we speak. Um, today is um, it's Friday, the 2nd of August. Um, yeah, so this this is a pretty big one. It's it's literally eight pallets of electronics and three complete server towers. Uh, so number one, I got to figure out how to get that all here. And I've been spending the last couple of weeks kind of like freaking out and trying to clean up the garage to so I can have some space for it all, which I'm pretty much there. Uh, I just need to do a little bit of you know fine tuning with organization of stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be a lot of videos on that. Oh my god, a lot of videos. I mean, there's one pallet of just laptops. And I mean, the server racks alone, I mean, that's huge. Um, there, there, there's one Gaylord box. It's one of those 4x4x4 four by four by four boxes. Just wire. So I mean, that's going to be fairly easy to just take it right to the scrapyard. Uh, so that should hopefully pay for the truck rental. Because uh, I'm going to have to rent a truck. I don't know if I'm going to like go through like like Ryder or Enterprise and rent a truck that way and do it myself, or if it's not much more expensive to have a local moving company do it. Um, this business is not that far. It's within 20 minutes of here. Um, so I'm waiting to, to get back from here back from them today. Um, who knows, by the time I edit and post this video, maybe I'll have that response to that answer and let you guys know right away. Um, but other than that, yeah. So... Uh, We've got that. I've been stockpiling all kinds of things up. I've been 
reaching out and asking tons of questions about the whole, you know, metal casting stuff, um, you know, making ingots and things like that, something that I'm, I'm really fascinated with and really want to start doing. I've not started yet, um, but I want to give a great big shout out to uh, Big Stack D Casting um, down in Australia. I've got uh, Veg Oil Guy, Veg Oil Guy, or V O G, um, and Art by Ed Rock. These three guys have answered a ton of questions for me. They've been really helpful. Um, so as soon as I start cranking out those ingots, those guys can expect something in the mail. Um, and let's see. Yeah, well, everything else has been pretty much outside. Oh, speaking of which, something outside. It looks like it needs my attention. So why don't we take a look? But let's take a look outside. So yeah, I just built these things on a whim. So working on the backyard as well, trying to make it you know, my own little utopia here. So I still have uh, that fence to finish. It's almost done. Built a fire pit with my brother Dave. Big thanks to my bro Dave for helping me out with that. Came out pretty nice. This fall I'm probably going to try and redo the deck with some cedar planking. Those boards on top are getting pretty crappy. Hanging out in the pool as much as I can. Ooh, it's dropped down a little bit. It's about 80 degrees now. Still feels good. All right, yeah, put this new line of crushed rock and stuff around the pool. Got my gardens going, which look like they need watering. The leaves are starting to wilt a little bit. Get my spaghetti squash, my butternut squash, my little tubs of potatoes down there. Potatoes and potatoes. My cucumbers. Those look like they're any cukes yet? Not yet, but soon. My watermelons are doing great. That little icebox watermelon in there. One there. Another one over there. One down there hiding. Another one down there too. Oh, all my stuff needs water. And my jalapenos. I built all these boxes um, in the last month because I had um, the other boxes I had just weren't working for me. So I put down all this crushed rock, got rid of as much of the. Uh, the it used to be clay here, so it was really slippery whenever it would rain. So I got rid of that. Put down some crushed rock, built all these garden beds. Of course, it was all kind of rushed. Um, you know, time is a you know, precious commodity sometimes. Yep, so my chives, my basil, my dill, a little bit of rosemary, some onions. I have no idea what happened to the hay in that box, it just kind of collapsed. Got some Hungarian hot peppers, all my green beans, green peppers, red peppers. Red onions, several different types of tomatoes going. Some nice red ones there, little great tomatoes. Holy smokes, that thing grew overnight. Another zucchini to chop up. My corn, something's been attacking the stalks. But hopefully I'll get, you know, maybe a dozen years or so. Just enough to have, you know, like one good dinner with the neighbors. That'd be nice. My jalapenos. These guys are getting big. These are the mammoth jalapenos. I like those. Going to stuff them. Yep, yeah, so that's it. So that's a bit of you know, what's been going on. Um, nothing crazy. But, you know, not the stuff that's been keeping me busy, keeping, trying to keep the stress levels down. Seems to be working. Maybe. All right, so that's it. That's that's all this video is basically getting folks caught up on what's been going on. Um, so, you know, working 40 hours a week plus the whole eBay thing has been fairly busy lately. Um, you know, spending probably uh, at least an hour every night um, posting, boxing, shipping, that kind of stuff. Um, but the nice thing about this whole new setup is that, you know, this area, there's going to be an area over here that's just going to be like a shipping center. So, hopefully that'll make things a lot easier. Um, I'm hoping to, you know, hook up a... Oh, that's another thing. My computer's kind of crapped out. So, 
you know, hopefully the money that I make, some of the money that I make with this uh, big contract with all the e-waste, I'll be able to buy another computer. Um, first thing, of course, will be making enough money to pay off the truck rental or the moving company, whichever is, whichever I decide to go with. Uh, but I should be able to do that with just the wire. So everything else, profit until I buy a computer. And then the rest is profit. Well, technically that's profit. Anyway, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, again, I apologize for you know the inconsistency with the videos, uh, and I, I thank all of you guys, you know the ones who've been posting, you know, comments, concerns, all that stuff. Um, appreciate you all, and um, I hope to be putting out more videos. I mean, right now I've got like 12 videos on my old computer hard drive that are filmed and downloaded but haven't been edited yet. So I've got to figure out how to transfer that because once I download it to my computer, I delete it off my camera because my camera has limited you know, space. Um, so yeah, so once that's figured out, I'll have you know like another dozen or so videos to upload to both Blue Scrapper and the DIY Daddy channel. Um, so that'll be, that'll be good. And uh, yeah, so I think that's it. So again, thanks to everyone. Was, you know, big thanks to my neighbor Ben. Man, I have no idea how much stress this takes off of me, having all this stuff built. Um, and it was fairly inexpensive. I mean, less than two hundred dollars worth of materials. And I've got a, you know, a ten foot by eight foot by two foot um, storage rack, and then these two eight foot by two foot. Uh, workbenches with a shelf underneath that I mean it's just gonna declutter everything make it feel more open and give me more space for more stuff to work on um, and as it is right now I don't know if any of you caught that but I don't know if you can see right down there and over there well, you probably can't see over there but um, I've got 20 20 some odd computers that I've got to take apart um, so it's another person that I'm working with who has a clean out business who um, basically companies or real estate companies or, or other businesses uh, when places close kind of like what Joe well maybe not what Joe does uh, similar his company basically goes in and cleans out everything um, and he was just getting I mean he was just throwing computers out into the light iron um, so I had a chat with him he's you know, actually a relative of my neighbor Ben um, so I told him, said, look, you know, there, there's stuff in there that's worth money. Right here, I'll do the work. We split the money. It's been working out. Um, oh, and he had this. Th <laughs> so he came over with this box. Sorry, I don't mean to ramble, but hey, you know, this, is, this is how my videos go. Um, so yeah, so he came over with this tote um, that had, I mean, it was, it was basically dirt with a little bit of camera in it. I mean, the stuff in there was so nasty and just gross. Um, so he came over after he dropped off all these computers. He's like, so I've got this box of cameras. Don't know if it's worth anything. Um, I was just going to chuck in the light iron, but, you know, if you want to take a look, go right ahead. So I did. 